So last night, I played Minecraft around a ping pong table with, with literally my brothers, a cousin, and a couple of friends to see if we can beat every boss Alexa, in Minecraft. We actually did this last month and it was so much fun that we decided to do it again. Now, I only have screenshots of the last time we did it, but this time I recorded. The world spawn was actually pretty terrible. It was in the middle of a desert, so I wasn't even sprinting in an attempt to conserve food. And deserts aren't great, but well, there were some hay bales. So me and my brother got a couple hay blocks. He's the one in the panda skin and I made a stack of bread. I gave him half of my bread though and met up with Nathan and also gave him half my bread. So I was down to 20. There wasn't really a plan going in other than kill all of the bosses, so I figured I'd start by getting some iron. Me and Nathan found a water cave, and I was the first person to find diamonds. In fact, I found the second, third, fourth, and fifth patch of diamonds. Unfortunately for me, I literally had zero sticks, so I couldn't make any tools with the diamond. It's kind of funny. I have 24 diamonds sitting in my hotbar, and I can't do anything with them. And the bad thing is we spawned in a desert, so even if I go to the surface, there's no guarantee I would get wood. I remember saying to everybody around the table, I need a mine shaft or something, and I kid you not, a minute later, I found a mine shaft. And I was like, oh, this is so awesome. I made myself a diamond sword, a diamond pick, and even some armor. I didn't have enough for a chest plate, so I decided against that and just rock the pants for now. I also made boots and a helmet, because why not? I mean, I have the diamonds, I should use them. I find myself holding on to diamonds longer than I should. Any audio that you'll hear in this video, I record on my phone, like I press record and set it in the middle of the table to capture all of our voices. But I only did that a handful of times, so most of this video won't have the audio of the people, which is unfortunate because you can't hear my reaction when a spider spawns directly directly next to me, and there's no spawner in sight. Crazy RNG. I got a disgusting amount of diamonds during this recording session. I was full diamond, got some extra obsidian for a portal, and went to the surface because low-key, like we're playing on multiplayer, I, I want to play with these guys. So we met up at a village to decide what to do, and the current game plan is just leave the desert. The desert is so terrible. We have zero food, like everybody's out. Before we left, I distributed my diamonds because I had 25 extra. Like, I, I just went ballistic mining, bro, it was insane. Oh, also, I got fully enchanted diamonds diamond armor. <laughs> it's probably because I play Minecraft every single day and it's my job, but I, I was just like by far the most stacked person on the server. Finding a different biome took way longer than expected, but eventually we found a nice plains biome with a village nearby. This is the first point I recorded audio on my phone and you can kind of hear the vibe. Uh, I think I'm going to get... I'm gonna get the white parrot. Those things are cool. The village was mainly a hub for us all. I got some extra food, but we really needed to start thinking about how to get ender pearls to beat the game. My youngest brother, Spencer, said this. Anyone have ever, I need four. Our strategy was to buy ender pearls from villagers. I ran into another problem though. Legit, yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so laggy. We weren't planning to make an SMP or anything, but we did build a house just to have a spot to come back to while killing all the bosses. What do you want to make the floor out of, Garrett? Um, whatever. We can do cobblestone. With a floor finished, we finally moved to the nether. Oh, we also reset our spawn points in the corner. It's like a little sleepover spot because <laughs> we definitely don't want to be dying and walking all the way back here. It wasn't the best spawn, there were massive cliffs everywhere and not a clear sight to the fortress, but I did get a reading on my pie chart so I knew it had to be close. I met up with the panda skin guy again, this is my older brother, and we traveled through a basalt delta until we found a fortress. Here you'll see me pointing under a giant arch of basalt, the fortress. It was just barely visible, but that's enough to know where it is, so I started mining a tunnel towards it. Oh, also, this is kind of insane, we were planning to do this without cheats, but in the bottom left you'll see my older brother teleported himself to coordinates and then fell to his death. Basically, he didn't know cheats were on. He was trying to tell the other people where the fortress is and somehow teleported himself and died. I don't know if that made a lot of sense, but we restarted the server because we, we didn't want to have cheats on. And eventually my brother made it back. How many do you have, Parker? I've got four rods. Probably not that many. Yeah, who right there? I have two. How am I on fire? Oh, this is not good, this is not good. Oh my gosh. Oh. Here, take the scaffold, take the scaffold. Oh my gosh, I have to eat it, I have to eat it. <laughs> oh, Jaden, get behind blocks! Oh my gosh. After a couple minutes in the nether fortress, we met up with two other nether explorers. But by this point, we had enough blaze rods, so me and Jaden headed out, while the other two stayed at the fortress. Honestly, I, I don't really know what they were doing there. Back at base, all we needed were ender pearls, which we'd get through villager trading, so I needed to mine a lot of wood. I went to the enchanting table, though, and found a surprise. Oh my gosh, holy. You can get, holy. what? 
Sharpness is a default enchant on an axe yeah. now. The villager trading was pretty boring, but I do have this unintentional time lapse when I went to go get water. I think it's kind of funny. That's my youngest brother leading a villager slowly backwards. Somebody got a goat horn, which is kind of sick. Still have no clue where they saw a goat. But I threw my first eye of ender and we were off to the stronghold. Along the way, we saw an armadillo, which was actually really sick. I wanted to test if they took damage while curled up in a ball. And yeah, accidentally murdered that guy. Sorry. Once I found the right chunk, I dug straight down into the stronghold. That was pretty simple. But while digging down, let's take note of this clip. I dig into a cave. There's a ton of mobs around me. So I'm like, I'll just put a block above my head. That way I'm not going to die. But when I get into the stronghold, they're like, you know, put some water at the bottom and I'll jump down. I'm like, okay, water's at the bottom, but there's like a block in the way instantly my friend dies. He jumped before I gave him that information and he, he just splattered on that dirt block. So that was probably a terrible experience for Nathan because he had to run all the way back here. But we did find the portal room and one of my really good friends growing up, Isaac, didn't have a Minecraft account so he was using my alt account, Parker2. And I think it's kind of cool. He's doing like a speed portal here. So I kind of just sat and watched to see how he'd do it. And to be honest, he, he did a pretty good job. Like all you need to do, you put the lava in the spot, you put water next to it, boom, bang, obsidian. Everything went really smoothly, except when he ran into an iron bar and made a couple cobblestone. So me and Spencer used this portal to go rescue Nathan, who was still like at world spawn. I was slightly concerned our boat would break when we hit the ground because there's like a couple heights in Minecraft where if you boat off from that specific height, your boat will break and you'll die. But we made it back safely and we were about to enter the end. Guys, are we ready? Nobody run off the edge as soon as we get there. Otherwise, all your stuff is what? gone. Oh, be really I won! Good. Okay, who has the last eye? Uh, no. No way. No! Way. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait, play it! Isaac! Enter the end! The end fight had begun, and since I don't want to get copyright striked, turn on the remix. <laughs> As part of our tradition, even though this is only our second time doing it, we always play a hype song during a boss fight. One thing I should mention is that throughout this entire recording, we've been keeping track of how many times people have been dying. And it's only me and one other person who haven't died yet. I'll be honest, at this point, I'm kind of just stalling, waiting for the really cool beat drop because it's really cool when you get seven people shooting the dragon at once. I know it sounds silly, but I don't think I've ever had this many people hitting the dragon at once. We were stun locking it in place with all of the damage being dealt. I had power two on my bow. It's not like we had crazy damage, but we had the numbers. This dragon didn't stand a chance. Wait, is the portal? Oh, the end screen's different. That's right. Oh, well, yeah, wonder... just go through. We have our bed spawn, so it's fine. Yo, that's insane. What? That looks oh. sick. I'll be honest, immediately after killing the dragon, we were not very efficient at killing the other three bosses. Like, I went mining for a bit to get anvils, did some enchanting, walked around. Everybody kind of dispersed after the ender dragon kill, so it took a while to get us all to group back up because the next boss was the warden, and we need all the help we can get. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Aye, aye, Captain! For the warden! Wait, have we got the potions, potions master? Yeah, I've got, I've got three. Nobody oh, is! Come on! I repeat, nobody put lava in the hole. Pop <laughs> <laughs> right, in. Okay, I'm in, I'm in. Coleman, no, don't throw it on our heads. Throw it on your feet. It's the best for Are splashing. Are we gonna be able to get out? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll mine, we'll mine. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, everybody ready? Yeah, yes. ready. Splash them. Wait, 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 do we have the tunes ready? <sighs> tunes are ready. <laughs> Garrett, I'm following you. You know where the city is. Alright. Alright, now all the potions are This is good. Turn it up, is turn it up a little bit. Gate. All right. oh Let's go. Okay. We're going. My oh, oh, oh. vision is in effect. Alright. Ouch, ouch. Go, ladies and gentlemen, go. Oh, yeah. Charge! For no. Narnia! For Narnia! Where is it? Where? Okay, follow me. Where's Trevor? Where's Trevor? He's okay. Go, go, go. Oh, go. <laughs> oh wait. Oh, it spawned! It spawned! It spawned! Where is it? Oh, it's it's the Get it! Run! You're the, you're the chaser! Go! Oh! 
I still can't believe that actually happened. I had full diamond with a pro four piece. People were dropping like flies. This had now turned into a gear salvation mission. We might need to retreat, guys. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I was starting to get a good chunk of the loot, but honestly, I'm pretty sure we lost a lot of it. My ancient city training from a year ago did come in handy. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Someone needs to get all their attention while everybody sneaks and gets some stuff. Okay. Spence is getting their attention, bro. He's getting them all their attention. I managed to get a few more diamonds while recovering loot, but it was so close, bro. And this leads us to the nether because we still need to kill the wither and we have exactly zero wither skeleton skulls. This was honestly one of the worst parts about this night. It took so long to get skulls. I actually didn't even get any skulls because we had two people searching for an ocean monument for like an hour and a half. They never found one, so I went out, found an ocean monument. But by this point, everybody was kind of sick of traveling, so I just solo killed the dude, which isn't as cool because not everybody's there. But the nether crew got the third skull, finally. And we met up at our house to beat the final boss, the wither. Yes, we decided to do this in our house. I think it's kind of fitting. Honestly, we were four or five hours deep at this point. Definitely didn't do things efficiently. People were getting kind of sick of it. We just wanted to kill this freaking wither. I'm pretty sure somebody tried to sacrifice a dog to get a wither house and somebody is wearing a Lytra, but I got the first shot on the wither and it's fully targeted on me. I thought this was probably a good idea because I have the most gear, but also I have the highest chance of dying. I don't have great food. The wither is constantly barraging me. It's not looking good. Coleman has already withered away. Oh yeah, just withered away. And I just got tapped with the wither effect. Now, I don't think bread can out heal it, so I know I'm slowly going to die. This bread it's not healing me all the way. Good news, the wither is past half health. It's now in manual mode, so we have to hit it. But I don't really want to turn on it because I'm pretty sure I'm going to die. People are dying left and right, though. I'm on one and a half hearts, so I eat my final piece of bread and turn on it. And I die right after I kill it. But you know what? We killed it. It was a fun night. <laughs>